Hello, Brand New Edition 1 here, and today I am in my shower, and I will be teaching you how to make elephant toothpaste. Um, and what that is, it's not toothpaste. If you use it, it'll damage your teeth. You'll be in the dentist office for a week. Ha! <laughs> I didn't try that, but I'm pretty sure that'll work. Um, it's it's called elephant toothpaste because. It's a bunch of foam and it and it's red and it looks kind of cool. It's a chain it's like not a chain reaction but it's a science reaction. What you're going to need? A bunch of dry yeast, two and a half tablespoons. I'm just using packets. A bottle, you can use a 2 liter bottle. I'm using just a water bottle. And my dad's taking off the thing. Little. You're going to need just a teensy weensy bit of little, or not of little, of warm water, about that much. Red food coloring or any color food coloring of your choice. Red's better because it looks cooler on camera. A measuring cup. One or two sets of measuring spoons. I'm using two because, um, oh. Because if I don't want to mix the dish soap with the yeast, because maybe the experiment will go wrong, I don't know. A regular spoon, and the main ingredient, hydrogen peroxide. I'm using 3%, it works better with 12%, but I, I don't know, we're just experimenting, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so what you first want to do is measure up, here, get down, 3 fourths of a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Takes a long time to get there. Okay. Now we want to take that and carefully pour it into your water bottle or just any kind of bottle. Don't get any of this on your hands, it'll damage your skin. Okay. Next, add about 8 to 10 drops. Wait. Okay, 8 to 10 drops of food coloring. And count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now it's turning red. Next, you want to get your tablespoon out of one of your measuring cups, or measuring spoons. And you want to measure out two tablespoons of dish soap. I'm going to add a little extra because on the first one we got most of it out of the water bottle. Okay, we'll put that over here. This show here. Now you just want to consistently mix up the water. Or the dish, all of these condiments. So you've, you've got a little bubble on the top. Next you want to take your warm water. And I'll take the camera for this. You want to take two and a half tablespoons of dish soap. My dad's going to open the dish soap and pour it into the, the or the yeast. Sorry, my bad. Um, and pour it into here. So once we get one, we're going to pour. We're going to stop pouring it and pour it into our warm water. Hurry. Hey. I'm going to make this video too long. Okay, that's good. That's good, Dad. And now we pour that into our water. Next, we add another. Um, okay. Okay. 
Okay, we don't have two and a half, so we're just going to use two, just like the dish soap. Next, now my dad's going to take the camera again. And now we take our spoon and we mix for about 15, 30 seconds. So we get it really thick. This is going to smell kind of bad. It's going to kind of smell like rotten chocolate milk. So if you've had rotten chocolate milk before, you'll pretty much know what this smells like. So you've got a pretty thick consistency here. It's very thick. Okay. Now we're ready to do it. Let me get all the yeast off. Now, you want to take that. Here's what's going to happen. Do this in a shower. Don't try this not in a concealed area where... Heck, what's wrong? Hang on, I might need to add a little bit more warm water. It's a little bit thick, huh? It's too, a little bit too thick. Okay, now let's mix it a little more. Hey, yay. Hey, If that would have gotten in the thing, I would have ruined the experiment. Okay, now here we go. Do this in a shower or bath. You should immediately get a, rea a reaction. Here. Here we go, it's going. It should be going a little faster than this if you use enough yeast and enough water, which my dad is going to do. He's going to add a little more. There it goes. And it should do this for a minute, a couple minutes, maybe just two minutes. And it should do that. Um, if you wear gloves, you can play around with it. I tried that, and it got all over my hands. It was really messy. So, that's the video. Uh, let me zoom in. It should get bigger and bigger. See, it's, if I zoom out and I come in, it, you can actually see it's still kind of going just very slowly. And it should look like this if you use red food coloring. My dad's going to add a little more yeast. And there you have it. That's how you make elephant toothpaste. Bye.